And we are back. Welcome back to the Legends Only RTG, where today I have been away on holiday for the last few days. So we come back on Thursday morning with essentially a full blank canvas going in to Future Stars Team 1. And we are going to spend the next probably probably four or five hours just opening all of the packs we have saved up. Dear Lord, what a sad little life, Jane. We start off with 60 saved up packs in the store from the end of the last week's promo, the UCL promo. And, and not only that, we have our elite division rivals to claim as well as our foot champs rewards as well. Before I went away on Friday night, I was able to very quickly secure 14 wins for just two losses. I then didn't have time to carry on and play the rest of my games. But as you can see, we have the rewards sat here to be claimed for 14 wins. So really, really big start to the video. Then we got ourselves four player picks and massive packs to be opened as well. And then like I say, 60 additional packs on top of those packs that you've just seen. Anything good you will see in the course of this video. But let's get these player picks open first. We don't care about the TIFO, but we do care about the player picks. Can we kick things off with a future star icon immediately? <laughs> Oh my, we nearly did. We do get a future star in our very first pick. This is going to be Pablo Barrios. I have no idea even who's in future stars. I've only looked at the icons. I've not looked at who the actual future stars are. Looks like this guy's only about 15k, but we'll take it. A special card in the opening player pick of the video. Let's see if we can back it up with our champs rewards now. Another one. Two for two. Are future stars just really easy to pack? Uh, no. We'll take Germa. So two picks and two future stars so far. We'll take Luka Modric. The GOAT! And then final player pick from champs and rivals is going to be Ilkay Gundogan. But hey, what a start to the video. Two future stars already. We're only 30 seconds in. Let's see what we get from all of the packs. Shall we begin? Ooh, inform. Again, I don't know who's in Team of the Week either. I've been away. David Costa. 85 rated, not bad. Top spur? No, no. What's that? Don't care. Okay, first interjection of the video. We have sadly yet to hit another Future Star, Future Star icon or team of the week. However, we have managed to pick ourselves up a duplicate Modric, which has meant we have now completed another 86 plus hero player pick. Now, I'm still waiting on the compensation from when these were wrongly released two weeks ago. I'm intrigued to see what they're going to do about that because we are still entitled compensation for that. But we have got ourselves here a 1 of 4 86 plus base Triple Threat or UCL Hero. There, of course, is that Modrix that we can now store in the club. But hey-ho, let's see if we can get ourselves something massive from this to add to our collection. I mean, it's new cards. I will definitely take a Bede Pele here because I've not used him yet this year. Risa, obviously, we've already got a better version of him and we already have that card from Objectives last time around. Papan is useful for the Evo, but we've already done another player in that. And Smolarek, again, I don't really care. So do you know what? I will take a Bede Pele. That is someone new and funky to try. Can play left mid as well. Let's get him in the club. Stupendous. Two hours later. Inform! Finally, something to write home about. It's gonna be... Is that Miller? No. Matter. 85 again. Have they upped the uh, inform rate? Are all informs 85 plus now? Yes. I'm not going to complain if that's the case. Pretty decent pack, actually, for an 83 triple. Okay, it is time to interject once again because unfortunately we still haven't been able to pack any future stars or future star icons, but we have once again completed the hero player pick. So another new player will be making their way into the Legends Only RTG right now. Here is our duplicates from the previous pack. Wendy, Reynard, Brandt, Hilaire. And we also used our Parejo and our Aussie men. So let's get all of them into the club. It was a base Abede Pele in pick number one. Can we see a triple threat or UCL hero to add to our ranks in pick number two? Hmm. 
Okay, I mean, the options aren't exactly the best. Rui Costa, obviously a club hero, club legend. We're not going to take Park or Ledley King. I feel like we should just take Melito because he is the highest rate. Is he four-star, four-star? He isn't. Rui Costa is... Play style, Tiki Taka Plus, none of the shooting ones. Melito really doesn't have a lot going for him at all, other than the fact that he can shoot. So, I actually think Rui Costa's more usable. So, do you know what? We're going to take Rui Costa. Here we go. French CDM from Monaco. He's that is a to be honest, I just wanted to see the flares. We've been doing this for like two hours now and I've not had a single future star since the first 30 seconds of the video. So I just wanted to see what the flares look like. That is the Mangasa objective completed. Get stuffed. And from what the future stars flare looks like to what the future star icon flare looks like because we have just got ourselves a duplicate Wendy Raynard which means that we can now complete the future stars icon Frank Rijkaard. Really, really looking forward to trying out this card. I've been crying out for a new CDM or a new centre back and he can do both. It is just going to be the standard white flares as you get on any icon but there we see it. The CDM coming out. Frank Reichardt, I love the card design for this with that little pink flare in the background as well. There he is, the short-haired Reichardt. Should be good. I'm really, really looking forward to it. I'm a little bit disappointed that he's not got like additional playstyles or another playstyle plus. It's just the standard Reichardt with a plus two. But to be fair, he looks really good and I can't wait to try him out. Oh, something different. A flip it unless Chesney's not in team of the week. It is a flip it. Chesney and a walkout team of the week. Toby Ordeviereld. Wow, what a card that is, by the way. Hold on. Another one. Oh, double inform. Let's go. Stanisic. Oh, that's a little bit awkward because he was on loan from Bayern when he got that card. Great reactions composure. He's got no playstyle pluses, which is a bit of a shame, but... Damn, if you could link this card into your team, that's a really nice looking card. 12 seconds later. Back to back informs. Oh, Lewin. Golski. The pack luck has turned. That's going to be order viral again. Not another one? I'll take it. That's great fodder. Not bad at all. Oh, future star. My time has come. We're off the back of back to back team of the weeks. We then get a future star. It's going to be Cancelo and Lu Lukeba. Who? Wow, again, what a card this looks like. Intercept plus, pinged pass plus, 86 pace, 82 passing, 82 dribbling, 89 defending, 86 physical. That's a great pack, by the way. Not a single 84 from it. He's about 150k. Nice. Can only play centre back, six foot tall, left footed. Again, that's a really nice card. We'll take that. We will take that. So, with yet another duplicate order viral. Oh, for God's sake, I can't honestly, I can't stand this. I didn't want to spare you while having to watch a third order viral in a matter of seconds. We have now completed a second Future Stars icon, and that is Andrei Shevchenko. And best believe he is going to be getting minutes in this weekend's champ stream as well. Do you know what? I'm going to skip the walkout. You know what he looks like. Let's have a proper look at the actual card itself. Here it is. Four star, four star, six foot, power shot plus, first touch plus. He's also got finesse shot, technical, rapid and quick step, which I'm really looking forward to see how these four dribbling styles all play out together. Drilling the ball into him and then quick turns and dribbling away. Then he's got the Travellish trait as well. Really, really good looking card. We'll probably come into the Van Persie position. We'll give him an engine and yeah, keep an eye out for the stream coming up to test him out. Five minutes later. Oh, future star again. England goalkeeper. 
So that's going to be um, Mary Earps. And hiding behind Mary Earps is Bissek. Great looking card, this. I, I know he's super cheap, but I really don't know why. Good pack again. I mean, how much is he going for? He's literally discard price. But look at this card. He's 6'5 with really good pace. Great balance and agility for someone that is 6'5. Reactions of composure are outstanding. Yes, he's short on aggression. He's got 98 jumping plus aerial. And he's 6'5. And he's got power header. And he's 15... Well, he's not even that. He's 12k. You are sleeping on this card. Here is a fantastic card. That then brings us to the final four. We have got an 87 double, an 84 10, an 87 4, and an 84 11. So I think we'll start with the 87 double. See if we can get ourselves anything from that. We don't, but we know it's going to be high rated walkouts. It's going to be Lewandowski. No, it's not. Completely forgot about this. Is this Pajor? So it's going to be Pajor and Kimmich. So an 87 and an 88. Could have been a little better, but we'll take it. Now we'll go for the 84 times 10, which is another future star. Is that going to be Rodri in a flip it? It is, so it's going to be Rodri. Does that mean the future star is 90 rated? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? I don't think it does. That'd be good if it is. Ah, it's Kun... I can never say her name properly. Kundanaji. Who? Oh! Very, very good looking card again. I can't imagine her being too expensive, but really nice looking stats. Great pack, that. Great pack. Another walkout in Gundogan, and then obviously another 88 in a duplicate Kimmich. Yeah, as expected, I can't see. I think that's probably a price range lock because no one can sell her. Bit of a shame. Good card. Not the most linkable, but four star, five star. Decent play styles all around and really nice looking stats. Let's push the boat out. Let's go 84-11. I believe in this 87 times 4 so I'm going to leave that till last. We're going to go 84-11. Will it be back-to-back -back future stars? It will! Spain again. Centre back this time. It's going to be one of the Barcelona ones. Is it going to be Leon or Paredes? It is Irene Paredes and it's going to be another Bissex. So they will both go in to another big SBC. Can we see anything else hiding behind them? We get another inform. Not too bad. We get Kante as well. Angolo, Angolo, not as good, bizarrely. The 84-11, not as good as the 84 times 10. But we'll take it. We'll get these guys into an SBC. And then we'll round off with the 87 times 4. And what that SBC is, is one that I never thought I'd actually complete. But we've been getting so much fodder this video that I've actually been able, over the course of this video, to craft the Centurion's Ashley Cole. Now, I know the one on the market is the same price as the SBC. And by the end of the year, this card will be so much cheaper on the market. But it is the highest rated version of Ashley Cole. And it's a new left back. And we've used Risa all year long. So why not? Why not give this Ashley Cole a go this weekend as well? It's another new player for the account, one we've not used at all this year. And we'll just have to see what he's like. And there we are. So, good stats all round. He's got the Jockey Plus. He's also got Block and Slide Tackle. Whipped Pass is great. Technical is fantastic. Travel is fantastic. So... Do you know what? I I'm interested to see how this card performs. He's got 94 stamina as well. Yeah, let's see what he's got. I don't think we used either of those two, did we? No, we didn't. So we used all of those to get Ashley Cole completed. That then leaves us with that one final 87 times four. But here it is then, 87 times four. Before we open it, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you've made it to this part of the video, please do consider dropping a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. I'm sure we'll have another bunch of packs to open on next week's video but this is our final shot at getting a team one future stars icon but let's see what it's going to be 87 times four it is a future star is that going to be van dyke it is going to be van dyke so it's a high rated fodder card regardless that is going to be endo But what else is going to be hiding with them? Oberdorf and Bronze. Do you know what? It's not too bad. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next week.